Gomezzi Entertainment. What up, news? Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of What Up. Sorry, I haven't had any content on in a couple of days. I've been sick, but I'm starting to feel a little bit better. All right, I would like to talk about the new Ghostbusters movie that just came out. I am not happy to see this trailer. Uh, honestly, if you go in the comments, you'll see everybody hates it. You know, at least at least eighty percent of people despise this movie and even like hate the fact that they even bothered to make a remake without the original cast. And once Harold Ramis passed away, it's very convenient how. You know, Sony is just like, okay, well, let's make a reboot with all females because they had no intentions of making a part three with the original cast. Now, I'm not going to show any footage because, honestly, I don't want Sony to give me a copyright strike just because I'm talking bad about their movie. But the new Ghostbusters reboot, geez, the trailer looks horrible. The ghosts look really plastic and shiny. The jokes in the trailer are very campy and stupid and resemble nothing about the original movie. You know, there's a part in the, the Ghostbusters trailer where they get a hearse instead of an ambulance. You know, so it's kind of like weird. Well, is that supposed to be a funny joke? Is that you're switching the joke up? Is that funny? Ha! Huh? Because it's not. And this movie goes in the same direction as all those other terrible reboots. Terminator Genesis, Total Recall, Robocop. All those movies were classics and then they turned them into garbage just to make money. And this is just another quick cash grab. That really tall girl from Saturday Night Live that took over the role for Ernie Hudson is annoying and obnoxious. Every time she's on screen, she's yelling and screaming all the time. Even in Saturday Night Live, she does the same crap over and over. And everything in this trailer with her looks terrible. The part in the trailer where her friend's head is starts spinning because she's possessed and she grabs her and starts screaming at her has been done before. This has been done before in other movies, but a lot better. Oh, wait a minute. She screams louder than usual. Ah, ah, that's so funny. Oh, don't, don't stop. Now, this movie does have some star power. It has Christian Wig, which I think is an excellent actress. Melissa McCarthy, which I think is pretty hilarious, but only when she's in rated R movies. I don't like anything PG she does. Those two have the only power to save this movie and make it good, to be quite honest. Like, who knows how it's going to be. Now, the trailer might be misleading. We've seen trailers in the past that look cool or look bad, and then the movie turned out to be completely different. But for what I can see, I just don't think this movie is going to appeal to the Ghostbusters fan. This is for, like, the hardcore Ghostbuster fan. To be honest, I put a couple of comments on Facebook about this, uh, what I thought, and I was just attacked by them, just saying, oh, what the hell do you know, and oh, my, my videos on my channel suck. They actually went to my channel just to look at my videos to tell me that they suck. All these guys, they'll talk shit about everything else except for Ghostbusters. You know, they're all dressed up in Ghostbusters suits at expos and stuff. And yeah, I understand why they love the movie so much, but I love the movie too. I was a huge fan of Part 1 and 2. I still am. I watched them all the time. And honestly, I wanted a remake with the original cast 20 years ago when they're all alive. And yes, I know Bill Murray was the main reason why it didn't get made because he wanted some outrageous crap and this and that. But still, you could have made it without him and it still would have made money and it still would have appealed to the fans that love the movie and love the franchise. And you're probably saying, oh, how can you make a Ghostbusters without Bill Murray? Well, guess what? You got a Ghostbusters without the original cast now. So are you happy? Well, you got what you wanted. You got a Ghostbusters movie, but it's not a real Ghostbusters movie. So I look at the comments. Like I said earlier in my video, I looked at the comments on the trailers. And they're all negative, and everyone believes that the only good comments are from Sony themselves, having secret shoppers there typing stuff about how good the movie is. But everybody else is basically saying they're going to wait to see this on Netflix. Uh, okay, okay, you know what, I'm done, I'm done venting, you know, let the movie come out, we'll see how it is, I'll probably go see it in theaters too, just because I'm a fan just like everybody else, but, man, I hope that trailer doesn't properly represent what the movie actually is, I, that's all I'm saying. So the new Ghostbuster comes out July 15th, 2016, you know, if you want to check it out, it's up to you, I'll have a probably review on my channel not too long after it comes out. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. If you please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like what I'm saying or do like what I'm saying or whatever, leave a comment below. I love hearing from people. I always answer back. And I'm sorry if I sound kind of weird. I do have a stuffed nose, but, uh, you know, I'll feel better in a couple of days. So thank you very much. And uh, this is Tomb Raider in the background. It's an excellent game. I suggest you play it. It's uh, very, very fun. All right, thank you and ciao. Yeah.
monkey ass too, because I shall be the king of kings, the god of gods, and old Shmrock. Thank you for watching, everybody. Ooh, I had a fun time talking about this uh, Ghostbusters. Please subscribe to my channel, because the more subscribers I have, the more content I can make, and the more content I can bring to you. And uh, please leave a comment. You know, I know I already said that, but I love hearing from people, even if it's telling me to go fuck myself. Good, you know, uh, then I'll, I'll go fuck myself. I love doing that too. So please subscribe and uh, enjoy. And uh, hey, yo, have a good life, man. Yeah.